Hey guys, Youngblood with you, and today we're going to talk about Shubin Interstellar, which is a company that most of us have come to know through the mining aspects of the game. But in reality, it ended up getting its start in a very different way. Shubin is a company that was created back in 2410 by a construction guru named Martha Shubin and her investment group, who really had the goal to become a huge player taking advantage of the rapidly growing demand for terraforming, as humans really started to expand into different systems after finding them. Now initially their plan was to stick with that financing aspect and fund those that were trying to get into the business uh, while ending up making their own nice profit in doing that. However, based on various businesses being bought and merging, uh, Shubin ended up owning the controlling stake in the third largest terraforming conglomerate around. Basically, the company ended up going from a bank to a terraforming company just like that. Now, as we continued to find new systems, Shubin seemed to be set up really well for continued profits over time. However, there was a major problem that they kept running into, and that was mostly with their equipment. Terraforming platforms are huge, meaning that moving them to a new system would mean massive amounts of disassembly and transport and man hours. So instead of doing that, they ended up selling off the equipment to those in the system who could use them for other purposes. Probably based on low demand, not to mention the wear and tear and just general depreciation, um, they ended up taking a big loss every time they sold one of their platforms. The company faced another challenge in the 2500s as system discoveries kind of began to slow down, meaning that there was less and less demand for their services. Their luck ended up turning, though, when they found out that Fulcrum Mining Associates offered to buy Shubin's assets left over in the Centauri system. And at this point, Shubin had a crazy idea. And that was instead of just letting the, the, all that equipment go, they would just buy out Fulcrum, including their assets and their mining expertise, which ended up setting up Shubin really well to transition their equipment and in a big way their company into the mining business. Now, that big picture thinking turned out to be the real key to Shubin's ongoing success and was the beginning of how we really now know them, which is a mining powerhouse. And with their newly acquired mining knowledge, Shubin began to work their way into systems that didn't even really require terraforming, and mining ended up becoming 60% of the company's work and profits. Now they split the responsibilities into two entities within Shubin, focusing on planetary engineering and ore collection respectively. Today you can find their headquarters located on Microtech in Stanton in a state-of-the-art facility. Now, while Martha Shubin is the namesake of the company and was responsible for the initial success of the company, their new CEO, Gavin Arlington, has really become responsible for their continued success in more recent years. One of the reasons that we're going to be so intimately familiar with Shubin is their philosophy of hiring contractors as opposed to their own employees. They do this because it provides a certain level of flexibility in their size of workforce, and if real-life employment standards are to be considered, you can often run at a lower operating cost based on not having to provide benefits and other cost-saving factors when you go contractors versus your own employees. It's also normally easier to manage the level of work requirements and staff size through that process. Now, in the game world, this is also shown through the benefits as they can um, you know, kind of send contractors into more dangerous situations with less concern of having to pay out in the event of like death or dismemberment. <laughs> and while that may sound bad to us, in reality it's a good thing because it's going to be the primary way we're going to be getting mining contracts and get jobs in that line of work without having to go out and find it all on your own. It can also mean that Shubin is willing to pay a premium for more dangerous jobs knowing that you take on the risk for potentially higher rewards. However, you look at the company or it just really in whatever light you look at the company, there's no denying that it's really become a massive operation and that we're going to become very familiar with it uh, and is a massive player in almost every system that we're going to be traveling to. So hopefully that's a bit of an insight into the background on the Shubin mining operation and Interstellar as a group. Um, and hopefully that gives you the background that you need to understand them a little bit better. So if you have questions, please get them in the comments. Otherwise, stay tuned for a whole lot more content coming soon. I appreciate you guys watching. Have yourselves a wonderful day and take care.